Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. I think it's safe to say that for most of us, our first introduction, the first time we were made aware of any kind of distance sensing was the term radar. You may have heard it in a movie or something. Um, you may have, if your parents were in the Navy, heard sonar first. Well, my dad was in the Navy, but I'm sure I heard radar first. It's in movies, TV shows, radar, oh, it's that thing. Well, I remember clearly my first real introduction to radar. I got to go up into the control tower at Newark International Airport. Yes, it was a different time back then, and I knew some people. Well, that's not true. I didn't know any people, but my dad knew some people. And some of those people were air traffic controllers. So I got to spend the entire day in the control tower at Newark Airport, watching the planes come in and out, seeing all the dials and gizmos and knobs and everything. And one of the ATCs brought me around, showed me everything, told me what it did, explained it to me. The coolest thing for me was the airport surveillance radar. It was this big round screen. First of all, it was a round screen. You know, I had a TV, I knew that screens were rectangular, but this was round, so that was cool. And I could see the little thing sweeping around and all the little dots of light, and he explained that the dots of light each represented a plane in the sky. I could actually look out the control tower window, see the plane coming in, see the corresponding light, and just watch the move together. That was the coolest thing. It, it blew my little five-year-old mind. Now, of course, since then, I've gotten to work with all kinds of distance and proximity sensing technology, uh, ultrasonic, infrared, time of flight, LIDAR, but it's always nice to get to go back to your roots. And I kind of get to do that today by introducing this, the new SparkFun Pulse Coherent Radar Sensor with the Aconeer XM125. The heart and soul of this board is the Aconeer XM125, an A121-based radar module with a 60 gigahertz pulse coherent radar with integrated baseband, RF front end, and antenna in package. As a pulsed radar, it can detect not just distance, but also speed, motion, and objects up to 20 meters away. It also hosts an ST Microelectronics STM32L431 CBY6, a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 MCU with a clock speed of 80 megahertz, 128K of flash memory, and 68K of RAM. The board has one USB Type-C connector with ESD protection diodes for the USB data lines, and a CH340C USB to serial converter. It'll accept voltage of 5 volt or 3.3 volt, but all logic is 3.3. There's an AP2112K 3.3 600 milliamp voltage regulator, and an RT9080 1.8 volt 600 milliamp voltage regulator to do what needs to be done for all the voltage needs on this board. There are built-in I2C 2.2K pull-up resistors, and the board has a default I2C address of X52. Now, you may notice that there is an I2C address jumper on the board, but that's there for future implementation. At the moment, there's a single option for I2C address. Other jumpers on the board include USB shield, power LED, I2C pull-up resistors, and wake-up. The board has pins broken out at 2.54 millimeters for breadboarding, measures 25.4 by 50.8 millimeters, and weighs 6.35 grams. We've written an Arduino library to use on your microcontroller once you've got the I2C presence or distance detection firmware flashed to your PCR module. Um, I do need to point out that there's a bit more work involved in this than just the simple plug, program, and play as many of our sensors offer. Let me show you. You'll first use ST Microelectronics' STM32 Cube Programmer to get everything on the pulsed coherent radar sensor. You'll open the program, plug in and select your board, and not the microcontroller, just the PCR sensor. And that's why it has its own USB-C port. From there, you'll download the proper firmware. In my case, I'm using the distance sensor. All right, see, distance the bin, there we go. Our hookup guide will take you in depth through all the steps necessary to get up and running. And ST Microelectronics and Aconeer's websites both have a lot more info on this module and how to work with it. Now, once you've got all that done, connect it to a microcontroller with our Quick Connect system. I'm using our new ThingPlus ESP32 S3 here. Very cool. And if we take a look at the serial monitor, look at that. We're measuring distances. Tilt it up, aim it towards myself. Oh, it's measuring my distance. Look, I'm presence. I'm detected. I feel seen. Yeah, look at that. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, okay, another proximity sensor, another distance sensor. What's the big deal, Rob? Here is the big deal. Unlike ultrasonic waves or light waves, radar can pass through walls. Very cool. Come on, I want to show you. Let's go someplace with a wall, and let me, let me show you this. Okay, so here we are set up against a wall. You see, I've got it just taped to the wall here. 
takes the measurements clearly much further than this is from the wall. So I'm gonna go out there, walk past it, and watch the measurement change. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Like getting out of the ball game to get a hot dog. Pardon me, excuse me, be right back. So if I come out here, we should see, am I closer? I think I'm closer. Oh yeah, look at that, I'm definitely closer. I can back up, but it is definitely detecting my presence, my distance through the wall, which I think is really cool. Another great thing about this board is its gesture recognition capabilities. With this, you can do so many cool projects, like, okay, um, this is not an endorsement, nor am I in any way affiliated with Universal Orlando. But if you've ever been down there to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, then you know that you can go buy a wand and then go stand in front of certain shop windows, wave that wand in a specific gesture for that window, and it will come to life. Magic will happen inside and things will move and smoke, and, and it's great and it's amazing. This gives you that capability. You can now do that at your next Harry Potter themed party, or, or you know, your Harry Potter themed party for your kids. <laughs> but seriously, you now have that power, that capability. Uh, on a more serious note, gesture recognition is incredibly useful for adding accessibility to any project. So like so many of our boards, this can do so much and I've barely scratched the surface here. But if you're interested in what you're seeing here, then definitely start your own radar project with the new SparkFun Pulse Coherent Radar Sensor with the Akineer XM125 module. You can pick it up over on our website and as always, Stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. I think I heard radar first. Sure, I heard it in a movie, but I'm... I'm uh, LiDAR, ultra, ultraviolet? The new SparkFun Pulse Coherent Radar Sensor? <laughs> Detector firmware.